So now under the assumption that the pandemic and required containment peaks in the second quarter in most countries in the world and then recedes in the second half of this year, we are projecting global growth in 2020 to fall to minus 3%. Now this is a downgrade of 6.3 percentage points from January 2020, a major revision over a very short period of time. This makes the Great Lockdown the worst recession since the Great Depression and far worse than the global financial crises. The cumulative loss to global GDP over 2020 and 2021 from the pandemic crisis could be around $9 trillion, greater than the economies of Japan and Germany combined. Now this is a truly global crisis as no country is spared. Countries reliant on tourism, travel and entertainment for their growth are experiencing major disruptions. Emerging market and developing economies face additional challenges. They face unprecedented reversals in capital flows, major currency pressures, while at the same time coping with weaker health systems and much lower fiscal space to support their economies. So for the first time since the Great Depression, both advanced economies and emerging and developing economies are in recession. For 2020, growth in advanced economies is projected at minus 6%. Emerging market and developing economies, which typically have normal growth levels well above advanced economies, are also projected to have negative growth of minus 1% and minus 2.2% if you exclude China. Now, income per capita is projected to shrink for over 170 countries. Now, we're projecting recoveries for both uh, advanced economies and emerging and developing economies in 2021, but that, again, is partial. Now, what I have described is a baseline scenario, but given the extreme uncertainty around the duration and intensity of the health crises, we also explore alternative, more ad adverse scenarios. The pandemic may not recede in the second half of this year, leading to longer containment periods, worsening financial conditions, and further breakdowns in global supply chains. In such cases, global GDP will fall even further by an additional 3% in 2020. And if the health crisis rolls over into 2021, it can reduce the level of global GDP by an additional 8% compared to the baseline. <laughs>